Now if I hook two taps, these are KML taps, nothing hooked to the end of it. If I hook that right here and actually run it, then I'm definitely going to well. Okay? I'm just showing you that here and get you, you know, a little bit uh, on the way. Now, I talked about, I don't know if you heard about this, but there's another KML situation. You can do that in a series. Okay? Jump up to high voltage range. That is 14 gauge. Let me see if I have uh, more wire. Um, yep, yeah I do. I have lots of wire. I have tons of it. Anyway, you take the copper, solid copper, I have red, they come in blue, and they come in all kinds of flavors, colors, and whatnot. And if you want it stranded, got that too. Let me see if I can pull out a spool real quick. And, yep, you gotta pull a spool of that. Big old fat spool of wire. Now I can get that all over the place. So anyway, what my thing is, is if I tap it, and I'm sitting here and I run it, if I have a Bendini motor or anything that pulses DC, I can kick it up. Oh, well, all that happy stuff. I bet you think it's using a lot of battery. Well, guess what? It's not. Okay, let's take that off and get a measurement reading off of it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to say, okay, this battery must be dead or something, right? Let's see. Let's get it right. Let's see. Oh, we got to turn DC because we're doing a battery, right? So let's go all the way down 2 volts and see what we have left in this battery. Yeah, there we go. We're still at 1.566. So we really didn't lose anything except for a couple of millivolts to throw out 200. A welling over 200. And we were getting tons of voltage off of that. Alright? And we were at 200 AC voltage. Okay? I'll talk to you later. I hope that helps someone. Alright.